Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Like that wheel up there opens the gate. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? The dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Look around. Find an angle. Ain't this what you do? <laughs> ah, promising. Again. Aye, aye. Once more.
think they've seen us. I know you. You're the wrong talk. We're about to get clean. Finally! Now we can ride on up to the ford. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp the stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important. Form of the thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. Whoa, you ain't gonna land a single hit. Just gonna embarrass yourself trying. So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noka. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But the day's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro? I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Ah, no, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece. But the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale.
Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I pulled up. Time goes by and there's less screws. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Traitor, almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might. 
blessed Morris. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Weapon a Spartan learns. What hell? Ain't this just like old times here? I could put it more rewardingly myself. Brother, that girl is trying to pass on a
Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. So listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Oh, lick my spade! There's eyeball nests all over! Get your throwing arm in here! Gun man on the left! Right there! Get the dang dead! Right side, brother! Better take out that net, or it'll be Eyeball City out here! Right flank! the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all. Them eyeballs are taking over the ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> Show me what you got! Spots down here, but you keep Better wait for that. Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. He's ugly, bird. Maybe those brown will take him. Uh, nope. Get Teddy Wanker, you hulk! Where are we going? 
when I'm... Oh, boy. That's probably enough heart pumping for me today. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder. Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working and working. Oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone. Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. Hello. That boy of ours, he's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. You sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know 
of godhood. In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself, beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. Drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. The war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again, find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. And if I'm right, you best prepare for a fight. Hey! 
Big guy. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True, though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. She's special, that one. Ain't got to tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing, whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? There's some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to see it in plan. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught them all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. It's become a whole multi. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. Keep your bits in all the right places. <laughs> Appreciate it. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Say, Faye. Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Ray. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Uh. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? Um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Through. Hey, it's through. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that a uh, that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea. But uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't hurt, also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Grandfather wants to see you. Oh, Grandfather. Right, okay, uh, here, then take this. And, uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And, uh, Treus, see you later. And Throod. Bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? <laughs> 